guys. Thank nice. you so, nice. so nice. much. We just hit the 100 subscribers. Woo! And um, we, we amazed. It's just 100, bro. It's not as bad. Once again, thank you guys for watching all our videos and our vlogs. Like it and comment it. I never thought so many people would actually comment. Like, I've never seen... It's very um, rare to see a channel as small as ours, but still have, like, we may have 50 views, 60 views, but they have 40 comments. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, you never see that. So, our... Do you want to call them fans? What do you call them? YouTube family. Our YouTube family actually watches us and they are engaged and we have actual conversations with YouTube family, YouTube family members. And I think that's amazing that so many people actually find us interesting, sometimes even funny. That's one thing that we try to do. We don't try to sugarcoat anything or try to hide anything or act like something that we're not. We are who we are. And, and we life is what life is. Yeah, and we just show it to you guys. So once again, thank you for um, subscribing. We're going to be adding more series to our um, channel and still bringing the funniness and the craziness and the ratchetness. And the dickness. Dickishness. Dickishness. Is that a word? Dickishness. I don't know. We all we said when we was at 75 subscribers that once we get to 100 subscribers, we, we will answer a few questions um, from our YouTube family. So since we're at 100, we feel this is the right time to answer some questions. So we're going to start with the first question, which everybody is always asking us, how did we meet? And I will let Andrea handle that question. Um, through work. I was working um, as security guard for the U.S. Army. And he was in the U.S. Army being a soldier. We kept seeing each other at the gate. Um, one day I actually left my ID. And she was giving me a hard time, not letting me in. Like, she didn't know who I was. Like, she'd never seen me before. No, I didn't. Of course, she saw me before. And um, one thing led to another, and I asked her out, and... Here we are. Here we are now. Years later. Okay. Question number two is, um, where do we live at? In Bavaria, Nobody Germany. Else. We live in Germany. We live in a small um, village. Where By the Franconian-like district. Nobody knows what that means. It's a Franconian Lake District in Franconia, in Bavaria, in Germany. We live in we live in Germany. In the Boondocks. Um, if you Google Nuremberg, we're like an hour away from there, which is the biggest city, and then we're like two hours away from Munich, which is um the capital of where we live in. So the next question was, why do we live in Germany? And that pretty much goes back to how we met. Uh, she was already living in Germany, working in Germany, and um. Once I got out the army, I decided to stay in Germany with her, and yeah, we just stayed. Never felt the need to go back. Yeah, no. Yeah. We like it. Yeah. Next question is, what do we do for a living? I guess I'll go first. I am a full-time student, and I also attend a German school. So in three years, I will be going to become a doctor, and yeah, I'll be Dr. Moore. And I'm a nurse in the biggest hospital in Bavaria. Someone asked if I could um, put up more cooking videos. If you want to do, like, I'm not complaining about her cooking. I'm not. But if you want to cook like Andrea, grab a whole bunch of shit, oh. throw it in a pot, and then you fucking done. No, that's not true. I grew up um, very healthy. Like, all V8, V8. Oh, we, we ate. ate. We, we ate. We, we ate. Ugh. You know that's going to slow-mo. <laughs> <laughs> that straight going to slow-mo. All we ate back in my childhood was very um, healthy. Like, it had to be... What's the word for it? Healthy. Healthy? <laughs> <laughs> it had to be... Um, not biological, how you say it? Organic, right? Mm -hmm. You say organic. Mm -hmm. um, we barely ate meat because my father had that thing that meat is bad for your health. It is, that's why um, I eat it. It is. Sweets, sugar, anything was just on special occasions like birthdays or the Christmas cookies. Mine was because it was Tuesday. <laughs> but beside that, um, yeah, we had vegetables, 
we had of course rice beans um plantain all that stuff i grew up very very healthy sorry i was reading the other questions so when i cook it's mostly just organic food it's healthy which i don't complain about i just i just like her process of hey we got pumpkin and we got grapes we should come up with some shit that actually tastes good mm -hmm. um so yeah if you want to cook like andrea just put a whole bunch of shit in the pot another question that, that we have is why did we start an actual YouTube channel? Um, I guess that goes back to Facebook, right? People was bothering me for actually quite a while. Uh, we should do another vlog, uh, a soap or a daily. We should be on TV. We should have our own show. We the funniest couple they know. We I don't know what. And because, um, because um because on Facebook we um it was it was it was weird. She was um I don't know how to explain this, but on Facebook. A lot of our statuses contain each other, and we kind of go back and forth and talk about our day. Like, the way we vlog is the way we do Facebook. We so did. Did Facebook. You left Facebook. Yeah, I left Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Put it up now. Yeah. Um, the way we vlog was the way we did Facebook. Real honest, funny, and just us. And people were liking that. My friends were following her. Her friends were following me. And people always say that we should do something more. And... I started my channel first, and then she started to get into it, and that's I how actually started it. Should I be really honest? I started my channel because I thought it's a very, very good opportunity to just look into what happened in your life. Like I can like a um, like a video diary. Yeah, that's what like, a blog is—a video. Log. I can imagine in five years when my kids maybe left already. And have their boyfriends or whatever. I can let them. <laughs> then they. Sammy is nineteen in five years. Who knows if she still live here? I hope they live here forever. But it's the best way for me to just look what happened in two thousand sixteen. Look what happened in two thousand eighteen. You remember this and you remember that. That was my main point of starting a vlog. So my question is, how did it go from you starting a vlog just to um, have private memories? Because yeah. you could easily just. Just started a YouTube channel and they made everything private. I was thinking about that at, at first. You I know, remember? that's why I asked. So, how did it go from that to us celebrating having 100 subscribers? I left it open and out of nowhere, people started to subscribe and people started to write and... Comment and... Tell me how funny it was and how they enjoy watching us and... I don't know, I was just enjoying... That other people enjoy my life. Okay. Our last question is, um, did you always want six kids? To be honest? No, don't lie. I did want a big family. Because I grew up being the only child. So when you're the only child, like I, like, I can't speak for anybody else. But being the only child for me, just fucking fly. <laughs> Do you think, oh, before we get that, do you think if we cuss but we beep it out, it's still being clean? Because we could just beep it out. Do y'all want us to beep out the cussing? Yeah, do you, like, do you have a problem with us saying cuss words? Because if you do, let us know. Comment we below. It. And we can beep it. Anyway, um, as a um, single, single, I was about to say single parent. As the only child, you always dream about having a big family and cousins and brothers and sisters so i always did want a big family but i think a better question is lewis what is it like living in a house with five females i think that's a that she was on my face i think that's a much better um fucking fly <laughs> i think that's a much better question because it is at times very very hard because i'm a man and I barely want to talk to her at times. Yeah, you just don't to, want to talk. Like you, like, I mean, men, like women know how their man just go, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. So as a man, imagine having that five times. Because one thing I realized by having daughters is that women don't turn 18 and then all of a sudden they're women who want to talk about feelings and talk about life and talk in the middle of a movie or say, why you want to watch sports? Let's watch freaking The Notebook or Titanic. That shit starts when they're like three. So I've been dealing with this for a very long time and it's just getting worse 
as they get into teenage years. That's why he got bald. <laughs> <laughs> all, all my hair fell out. So yeah, it's just um, living with five females is very six females. I'm sorry, I forgot about Olivia. Six females, cause she already got a little added on her too. Yeah, come on, she's yeah. still a baby. Yeah, I said it started with three. She got two more years, and then, then she'll be walking around. Anyway, yeah. yeah so um, I always did want to have six kids, but I didn't expect to have five daughters. Well, that um, sucks for you. I love it. So I guess that was all the questions um that we have for now. Hopefully, when we make our five hundred subscriber video. We will have more questions or something Let's else. Let's keep it by 200. Nah, 500. Come on, 500. 500. We can make it do it every 200 and 300 and 400. Why not? Maybe people always have questions. Not five, five, or let's say 250. Okay. 250. Um, we have another question to answer, and then I think that time we should open it up to Instagram also. Okay. All right. So, once again, thank you guys for being subscribers and showing our family love. We really, really, really feel honored and blessed and appreciate it i enjoy your comment like i can't have enough of reading it so thanks for watching and peace out <laughs>